Hey Ranger fans, we're here with head coach Tasha Dieselhorse. Two, uh, yes, two days before the official opening day of regular season. Uh, coach, first off, what's the biggest difference you've seen between the 2016 and 2017 Lady Rangers and the 2017-2018 version? Um, I think just how, how preseason has gone. I'm a little bit more familiar with what we're doing um, with returners kind of stepping into things and teaching the younger girls um, how we want things done. Um, the competitiveness, um, the intensity of practice um, has been good. So um, I think just going into it, um, the mindset too of things of kind of knowing what to expect with these returners coming back and where we left off and wanting to build on that. Good. And then one of the big, I guess the biggest changes you would say is just the amount of new players. Mm -hmm. You know, every year, especially a second year head coach, this was really your first full recruiting season. Mm -hmm. What were some of the things you were looking for as far as addressing some issues, maybe boosting some strengths, and, uh, and talk about a few of those new players? Yeah, um, in our recruiting class, one of the requirements was, was height. <laughs> we needed to add some, some height and some length uh, to our roster, and I think we did that with this uh, freshman class. Um, we have nine freshmen, um, a lot that are going to contribute immediately. Um, two that have uh, found their way into the starting role of Bailey Brown and Kinsey Nieder. Um, again, two girls with some length and some size that can shoot the ball and put it on the floor and are pretty good defensively as well. Um, also, Mackenzie Dean from Ada is going to get lots of time. She's a came from a high school that was a point guard, um, but at 5'10", can play multiple positions, and so we can kind of put her anywhere on the floor, and she's done a good job for us defensively as well. So, um, like I said, just trying to add some, some height and some length to some of the players we had coming back uh, that will help us a lot defensively, and I still feel like we're going to be um, athletic and quick on the offensive end. Right, and then, you know, on paper, people know what to expect from Corey Berrios and mm -hmm. Deja Beach. I mean, you know, they're going to come out, they're going to start, they're going to produce. Mm -hmm. Talk about a couple of the role players that really emerged last year that were, in my opinion, the keys to success. You know, you talk about Mackenzie Billy, mm -hmm. uh, Bailey Farrell, mm -hmm. and Destiny Robinson. Talk mm -hmm. about their uh, progression over the off season, mm -hmm. and their maybe have they jumped out of that role player mm -hmm. mentality, or are they still there and their contributions moving yeah. forward? Um, I think Mackenzie Billy is one that stands out to me, uh, one that's um, her progress in preseason in the, in the weight room and in conditioning. Uh, she came back after a summer and you could tell had really gone to work. Um, so her improvement in that area was, was very encouraging and then also it's translated on the basketball floor. So she's one that uh, again will kind of have a, a role but she stepped into it um, and I think knows what's expected of her a lot better this year. Uh, one that actually is, is getting uh, more experience and didn't play a whole lot last year or at all was Jakiria Ote. Um, she's one that um, redshirted last year and, and another one who's the leadership and just um, getting her out on the floor makes a difference. She's, she's tough to defend. She's really quick at getting to the rim and so her getting just her more minutes as soon as we start playing, I think she's going to feel a lot more comfortable and, and that'll help us. Um, Destiny and Bailey, like you mentioned before, again, two that are familiar with what we're doing and, and trying to kind of find their role and find their spot in what we're doing. So we look for them to contribute as well. Good. And then y'all are participating in the, the girls' version of the GAC mm -hmm. MIAA Challenge. Talk about how important it is, although it's a disadvantage that it's on the road for mm -hmm. your first games of the season. Talk about how much of an advantage it is to play some quality teams from not from the other side of our region mm -hmm. in the MIAA. Sure. You know, the opportunity to go play two Oklahoma schools um, from the MIAA uh, is a great opportunity for us for, for recruiting, mm -hmm. um, for com competition. Uh, UCO is one of those that's always ranked high in their conference, you know, had a good uh, postseason run last year um, in Northeastern as, as well as a good team. So it'll be good for us to get on the road, um, kind of test our ability to play on the road early uh, against good competition mm -hmm. and see kind of where we are and what we need to work on. Good, and give us some keys to the, uh, Lady Rangers' victory this weekend in both games. Um, I think defensively we have to play uh, well. Um, both teams, one team shoots the ball pretty well and one team's uh, rather tall and has athletic guards. So I think defense is going to be a key for us if we're able to uh, win the rebound war, um, if we're able to you know, defend inside and cover the three-point line. 
uh, offensively. I think limiting our turnovers, you know, in our exhibition game, that was one thing that we really focused on this week was limiting turnovers. Um, so I think those are two major areas that uh, we have to focus on. Good. Well, Ranger fans, the Lady Rangers are back in full force starting this weekend. Catch both games on streaming online on RideRangersRide.com. Coach, appreciate your time. Thank you.